The state government will spend nearly $2 million to encourage more people to use seat belts 40 years after they first became mandatory. Authorities say in spite of heavy penalties, a $300 fine and three demerit points, there are still too many deaths from not wearing seat belts. Since 1971, when buckling up became law, the death rate on Queensland's roads has fallen dramatically. Back then, 30 people out of every 100,000 would die in a car accident. Now it's only six. But a new TV ad aims to cut it even further. The $1.8 million campaign will target young men 17 to 24 and older men aged 30 to 49. What we've seen in uh, the research is that people do actually listen to these ads. It's been market research, it's been tested, it's worked in the UK and I'm very, very confident it's going to be working here in Queensland. Police say they're baffled about continuing resistance to seatbelt use. Something that we are struggling with is why it is that people, particularly in those two age groups we mentioned, would have such a problem with putting a seatbelt on when the likelihood of surviving is eightfold if they're involved in a crash. People who live in rural and regional areas are more likely to die in an accident because they're not wearing a seatbelt. Karen Berkman, ABC News.